Hi, I'm Scott DeStacio from DeStacio Law Firm, and today I want to talk about how do you recognize a developing pressure sore? Well, the bottom line is you have to look at your loved one's skin. And we all wear clothing, and most of these types of pressure sores, bed sores as people might refer to them as, develop under the clothing in areas where pressure uh, occurs while we're laying or sitting in one place. So you want to look at those pressure point areas, the heels, uh, the bottom, because these are areas where pressure sores routinely happen. And what are you looking for? Well, you're looking for, at first, the first stage is discolored skin. Now sometimes people are on medications uh, like heparin that are blood thinners and will cause the skin to have reddened areas. But those will be all over and in places that are not necessarily uh, pressure areas. What we're looking for is reddened areas that um, are in a location on the heel, on the bottom, some place where pressure develops. And if you see that on your loved one, that's a developing, could be a developing pressure sore and you may need to make sure that they're turned and repositioned off of that area so that the blood flow can return. In later stages, you end up, something to look for is blisters on the, those areas, the heel, the bottom, and that is a, a second stage pressure sore, but if those blisters pop and then it starts to develop into the skin and into the muscle, then you're going to see really nasty necrotic dead tissue in those areas. So definitely with your loved ones that are elderly, have dementia, laying in one position for too long, look under their clothing at these areas.